talking about Nigeria again. And um, during their Christmases, many years since like 2011, they've been attacked by terrorists on their gatherings, and many people killed. And but Christians anchor their hope in a power greater than persecution. Christians have the opportunity to expose false and evil powers while pointing to the purified power of God's Lamb, Jesus, who came to take away the sins of the world. What's the difference between Christ's purified power and the evil power of the false rulers? The false powers must rely on the fear of death, while the true power is capable of withstanding complete vulnerability. So, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, and Herod, of course, knew and Herod was using his power to command to have all the babies killed. And, and he, two years or younger, and having no army, the people, you know, had parents were powerless to protect their babies. So um, Herod had the power to kill babies. And he was, those babies, of course, were powerless to help themselves. Herod represents power and the highest power known by evil lords. It's the power they yield to and default to when threatened, the power to kill. But guess who's greater than all that power? His name is Jesus. And Jesus lived, you know. His parents sent him away, you know, so that he would live and he lives today. And Jesus says in Hebrews 2, 14 to 15, he came to the earth to free people from the fear of death. So thankfully we can celebrate his birth today and worship in freedom and come into his house with complete freedom. So let's pray. Thank you, Father, for this great freedom you've given us in Christ and for the people around the world that stand our martyrs for you and are persecuted for your name's sake. We ask that you'd strengthen them and protect them this Christmas, O oh Lord, and give them a special blessing as they proclaim your word and tell others about you. In Jesus' name, amen.